Good morning, brothers and sisters. It is Tuesday morning. It is a great day. I have my cup of coffee ready to enjoy. I've just heated it up in my microwave, and this is our time of morning inspiration. It is good to begin each morning with God's Word and our meditation. Today is November the 24th, and here is our reading from New Morning Mercies by Paul David Tripp. It is dangerous to live without your heart being captured by awe of God, because awe of God is quickly replaced by awe of you. It is a daily battle, one that is free of physical weapons, political parties, and national boundaries. It's a battle that has been raging since the garden and will not stop until the war is finally won. The battle is not fought between people. It is fought within people. It is a much greater danger to each of us than war between nations will ever be. It is a battle of awe. We were created to live in a real, heart-gripping, agenda-setting, behavior-forming awe of God. But other awes kidnap our hearts. Awe of creation, awe of other people, and awe of ourselves shove the awe of God out of our hearts. So we need grace to see again to tremble again, to bow down again at the feet of the one who deserves our awe. Let us pray. Oh God, we bless you. We magnify your name. We glorify you. We adore you. We praise you for your great glory. We stand in awe of you, the creator of all things, the one who has called all things into being with his spoken word and has breathed into us the breath of life and whose powerful creative word has become flesh and dwelt among us, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Lord, this day, help us to fix our eyes on you to truly worship you with every fiber of our being, all our hearts, minds, souls, and strength. Keep us focused on you so that we don't succumb to being in awe of ourselves. And in doing so, allow our spiritual journeys and our lives to deteriorate. Oh God, we thank you that by the death and resurrection of your Son, you have raised us to newness of life. All glory and thanks be to you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. It's been great to be with you for this time of morning inspiration on this week of Thanksgiving. May God richly bless you this day.